Hey, this is John Ray with Hawkins Outfitters. Uh, just doing a little boat prep, uh, about to head out. Uh, we've had some really good mahogany fishing, as is the case here in uh, mid to late May. And one of my helpful hints is the rubber band that I like to carry on my lanyard. Uh, May and June being some of our prime dry fly fishing of the year, uh, we catch a lot of fish on dry flies, and those dry flies need to be taken care of after or post fish. So uh, what we do, uh, what I like to do is uh, during the mahogany hatch, uh, the AP Drake is one of the uh, best bugs that we have tied by Ed McCoy. Uh, after I land the fish, I like to take my frog's fanny, get a little application here, fluff it up, squeeze the lid back on, and then I take it into a little rubber band. Ooh, missed it there. Give it one more try. Anyway, grab my rubber band, split my fingers, grab that size 14 hook, and just give it a little flick off. I learned this trick uh, from Larry Webb. Uh, it's really helped uh, the longevity of the dry flies. Uh, dries all that hackle out, sprays that water out. It's going to float, float like a cork. And then in that evening hatch, which you only have a slight period of time, you can maximize your opportunity with just a simple little flick off. You don't even need the frog's fanny. It works. Uh, both ways. So one of the rubber bands that I like to use is we eat a lot of broccoli at my house. So that rubber band comes easily accessible from the grocery store. Uh, get yourself some broccoli, be healthy out there. Grab your scissors, cut that rubber band in half. Split it with your fingers. And what I like to do is do a little loop-to-loop -loop connection. like that and then I can attach it to my lanyard. I've also been known to attach it to my forceps. Come in there, do another loop to loop. You're good to go. And then you have places that are easily accessible to put that dry fly on. It works really well with usually a size 12 or larger hook. Uh, the size 16 type sulfur stuff, I do have it where it gets into my rubber band and it'll break it apart. So, but anyway, I'm just trying to give you guys a helpful hint. Good luck this dry fly season, and hope that helps to make your dry flies float longer.